Hello, my name is Carrie, and today I will be reviewing Changeling by Philippa Gregory. Okay, I loved this book. I read half of it on Thursday when I finished filming my previous video, and then I read a little bit Friday, and then a lot of it yesterday and then I finished it this morning so if I probably could have finished it all on Friday if I hadn't have gone anywhere after work but so yeah that was probably the fastest that I have finished a book in a very very long time I think the fastest time I've ever read a book was when I read the fifth Harry Potter book and that was twice as thick as this and I read it in three days I just sat in my room and read and read and read and read and didn't leave my room except to eat and go to the bathroom. This book takes place during the Inquisition in the 1450s in Europe, uh, primarily in Italy. Uh, so that's just, you know, a really interesting and kind of controversial time period now that as uh, we look back on it, um, there was a lot of superstition and and a lot of persecution of things that people didn't understand. The Crusades were going on where Christian kings were sending armies into the Holy Land to fight the Jews and the Muslims and anything that was not Catholic was looked down upon and it um, it's not a period of history that I have a lot of knowledge on so reading something fictionally based on it um, did kind of pique my interest a little bit. Um, so maybe I'll, you know, read some more things about it. There are two more books in this trilogy. I believe the second one is called Stormbringers, and I gotta get my hands on that one. And then the third one is called Fool's Gold, I believe, and that's coming out sometime in the coming year. Um, I think the first half of 2014. So I can't wait to get my little pause on that one too. So let's get into the story of the book. There are two um, groups that the book talks about. Um, you kind of get two sides of a story. Um, there is a young man by the name of Luca, and he is or he was studying to be a priest. Um, and then he gets into trouble and he thinks that he is going to face the Inquisition for having some opinions on a few things that um, people did not necessarily like. And he actually gets ends up getting sent on a quest for the Inquisition. And he travels with his clerk, Brother Peter, who is kind of annoying, I think, because he's very strict and very, we have to follow the rule, we have to do this, we have to, and Luca is, wants to know more about different things. Um, and also they're traveling with his servant and his friend, um, Freeze, I believe it's called, is how you pronounce it, F-R-E-I-Z-E. -E. Um, so yeah, but he's he's a funny character. He they call him a fool um, because he speaks his mind and he's not afraid to speak his mind. And he'll make snide comments to his horse out loud um, about Brother Peter and Luca, and they just kind of look at him like shut your face. Seriously, what's your problem? Um, so they travel throughout um, Europe and. Um, they do quests for this secret order of priests for the Inquisition, um, and there are two uh, missions that they have in that they talk about in this story, and they are joined by Lady Isolde um, and her friend slash servant, um, who is a Muslim girl named Ishrak. And they're a fun pair. Um, Lady Isolde was raised to be a, um, a 
proper lady and she was supposed to inherit her father's land and his castle and be able to run everything but her brother was trying to steal her fortune away so she I think he must have forged the will or something um it doesn't get into that but I, that's my suspicion um so he sends her to an abbey and she has to run the abbey instead and take a vow of celibacy and stuff happens and adventure ensues and I'm not going to get into it exactly because um, I might get spoilery and I want you guys to read it for yourself so I think I've given a pretty good synopsis um, overview of the characters um, like I said I um, I really liked Freeze um, if that's how you pronounce his name He's, he's he's kind of the comic relief of the story, the way he's just so smart, snarky and sarcastic. He's old as fun. Um, I really like strong female characters, um, especially taking place during this time period because that was just so greatly frowned upon. Um, you know, the, the ladies were just supposed to sit there with their embroidery and make babies and not supposed to have any kind of power at all. So the fact that she was supposed to... Um, is really interesting and she has a very strong will um, and uh, her friend also is very strong-willed and she can fight and that's just you know really interesting kind of a kind of a culture clash between Luca and his party and talking with Ishrak because she talks about her homeland and women being able to fight and learn and attend universities and they just kind of look at her like she's an alien from another planet. So it's kind of a culture shock and a little bit of a lesson that, yes, women have brains and they can do what they want, um, if given the opportunity. Not so much of a romance story, um, although they do grow to like each other, um, as friends at least, I think. Um, I'll have to see what the other two books hold. But I just love um, Philippa Gregory's writing style. I, I have quite a few of her books already. I want every single one of them in my hand so I can read them all. And uh, there's a bunch of other collections that she has out that I want to get my hands on. Um, so I want to get the Cousins War series, which is a four book series. There's a couple of the Tudor novels that I haven't gotten my hands on yet. And then, of course, the other two of these. Um, like I said, Stormbringers is already out. I have to get my hands on that. Um, that is on my wish list. And then Fool's Gold comes out, I think, I think February or March, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, so, yeah. That's it for this review. So I hope I really encourage you all to go out and get this book and read it. It's just such an interesting time period um, to learn about and I kind of want to get some maybe some nonfiction books at least in the library and read some more about this time period and the people that are involved in it. Um, this is a bit of a stretch for um, from her Tudor novels because instead of writing something about actual people. She's taken a time period and inserted fictional characters, um, which I love. Kind of gives you a, a glimpse of what life was like back then, um, or what life could have been like, maybe, as uh, somebody's interpretation of it. So, uh, Philippa Gregory is just a brilliant author. I love her books. I am such a huge fan of her. She's one of my favorites. Um, definitely want to get all of her books eventually one of these days. The next book I'm going to read is The Goddess Test. Um, I had picked this up as, long, as well as the second book, um, The Goddess Interrupted, um, when I did my book haul on Thursday. Uh, I've seen some other people review this book and I've heard some pretty good things about it. Little Book Owl gave it four out of five stars so I'm kind of interested to read it. I watched her review on it. And so that kind of piqued my interest even more. I had never heard of this series before, so I'm pretty excited to read this. 
So I'm just, you know, kind of interested to, to read this. And I like Greek mythology, and so that's another reason why I got interested in this book. And I hopefully am going to, and I plan on having a review. I might uh, wait until I have all four books and then just do the whole thing. I don't know yet. Um, it takes, it's, we'll see how long it takes me to get this book done and the second book. And if I can get my hands on the other two. Um, and then I could just marathon on through. Because that would be great. That's all I have for right now. Um, I will have another video up soon. Oh, announcements. Um, I want to do a kind of a uh, Q&A kind of thing soon. Um, hopefully uh, Thursday. So this is your chance, you guys, to put questions in the comment section below. And um, hopefully by Thursday I will be have enough questions to do a question and answer uh, video. So uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. And I will post again soon. Goodbye!